we solve it? Yes. I hope so. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. The construction machine developer Dynapack have developed the world's first electric city paver at their headquarters in Wardenburg, Lower Saxony. Product manager Joel Prado and engineer Friso Brink were involved with the huge project right from the beginning. Van Gelder is coming today, our customer in the Netherlands. Uh, they will come to check their electric city paver. So it's actually the first uh, machine being delivered of the uh, first uh, worldwide uh, electric city paver available in the market from that is delivering this uh, first unit. Joao welcomes Remco Koch, manager of the Van Gelder construction company. He wants to take a close look at the new city paver. At the test yard, the customer will be able to check the machine's functionality with a particular focus on the charging process. As soon as this is done, the electric city paver will be ready to touch asphalt for the first time and will be sent to a road construction site in the Netherlands. Yeah. Wow, that's looking nice. Yeah, much better than the... Yeah. I mean, not better, but good looking. Okay. Zero emissions, reduced noise levels and low running costs. But the most impressive achievement is the machine's runtime. The electric paver can run for at least four hours on a single charge. The SD1800WE, so the electric city paver, can handle both AC and DC charging. charging. Uh, DC charging around 80 to 100 kilowatts of power the machine can handle. And that's what we are here to test for. Uh, if you are at a job site and you have a short time window, if you're getting asphalt, the asphalt is coming, I don't know, uh, anything can happen. Uh, that's why you need this uh, capability of fast charging the machine while you wait or during that lunch time or lunch break, I don't know. And that's one of the main reasons we are here to test it out, uh, to have this uh, DC charger or fast charger available on site, mobile. Two and a half years from the drawing board to the final product. There is no room for mistakes now. Everything has to run smoothly for today's customer. Of course, we are very nervous. Uh, we have engineering here uh, with us, uh, software engineering here with us and on the spot. So we can take care of everything, but we, we don't know anything can go wrong or anything can go and uh, something unexpected, let's say. Uh, we are a little bit nervous, but, but we are very confident, I would say. Well, we don't do it because it's easy, but because we thought it would be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the truth? Yes. <laughs> yes, plug Please. it in. <laughs> Do the honors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, stand out. On a construction site, the machine can handle charging speeds of up to 80 kilowatts. With this fast charging mode, a full charge can be achieved in just one hour. Sorry. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Now you, now you have to press the standard charging process up to 75 kW. You hear it starts already at the machine and starts the communication. But it seems like we have an error. <laughs> Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Too many eyes watching. Yeah. There seems to be a problem here. The machine isn't charging. It's not, it's not recognizing the machine. It's, it's uh, it would be just like you plug your phone in the wall. For example, it doesn't recognize the, your phone, so it doesn't charge. Yeah, usually turn off and on again. Yeah. Usually it works. <laughs> After assessing the issue, the cause could quickly be found. Simply a miscommunication between the machine and the charger. Next try. Again? Yeah. Again, hopefully this time. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, here you go. Finally, the battery is charging. 
The special thing about it is it charges from 5 to 80 percent in less than one hour with DC charging. So you guys come over when, it got, when it's getting to Holland, mm -hmm. you come with it. We will most you probably help go. Us. We will most, we will definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. We will definitely so. go. <laughs> we, <laughs> need, we need some help. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. No, 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 not only that, but also the necessary training, support, this kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Weighing in at a massive 10.5 tonnes, the electric city paver has a maximum paving speed of 25 metres per minute and a 700 volt system architecture. The conclusion of today, uh, the machine is fine, it's working, but in combination with the battery pack, there are some issues. So the power charging is not working uh, very well, but the cars are working on it. So hopefully in May it's working all fine. First, yeah, we are very proud that we have a machine which built by Dynapack, 100% factory machine, and that we can actually first sell the machine, the first in the Netherlands, but actually also the first in the world. testing and assessment have come to an end. All in all, the customer's visit was a success. The paver can be shipped to Van Gelder. Now, the machine must prove itself at the roadworks. Of course, Dynapack has its own brand identity and its own visual colors. Uh, we have, of course, white and red. But by the request of our customers, we are able to get from the factory their standard colors, their visual identity on their machine. If they like one or two colors, doesn't matter uh, from the factory. So that's why the machine is in our beautiful yellow, which, which is for Van Gelder's colors. The day is coming to a close and the journey of the world's first electric city paver begins. Next stop, a construction site in the inner city of Nijmegen. A significant milestone for the Dynapack team. We are of course working that it will go and nothing will go wrong with the machine itself. But asphalt job sites are unpredictable sometimes. <laughs> so you can go, uh, asphalt cannot come for example, or yeah, I would say that's the main, the main problem, asphalt not coming or arriving late, yeah. We are very happy actually, yeah. I speak not only for myself, but for everyone that worked with the machine, the guys in the engineering who, who actually worked around the clock, sleepless nights to get this machine up and running. And uh, actually we are very happy to, to see this machine in the field in the hands of Van Gelder's hands to really, you know, be a showcase that this machine can actually work and it's a feasible project, yeah. A few days later, and 280 kilometers farther away, Joao will examine the first use of the electric city paver on the construction site in Nijmegen. First things first, Joao talks to the driver of the machine and gives him final advice. Now the challenge begins. Can the electric city paver manage the whole paving process on a single charge? Uh, the job? I it's think it's uh, three hours. The job is here. Three hours, I think. Three hours. I hope. Three hours. <laughs> cool. The battery is still at 91% and the screed has already heated up to its working temperature of 130 degrees. Although this does depend on the weather, this value gives a good estimate of the battery consumption for future paving work.
the paving has started. Everything seems to be running smoothly. members of the City Council and interested students, the world's first electric paver attracts everyone's attention. Once again, we have a problem. The machine has come to a standstill. Uh, can we solve it? Yes, I hope so. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I called uh, Tobias and the engineering yeah. to see if they can do something from there. But it looks like it's the left seat. Yes, okay, it is uh, stuck. Joao and the team suspect that it's the hydraulic pressure that's causing the difficulties. It is not a problem of special electrical paper. It's, uh, the, the problem that we had is, uh, also, it can also be with a diesel-driven paper. That is not about uh, the electrical equipment, of course. Uh, it was a small problem, actually. It was a, a kind of adjustment what was not right. Uh, the, uh, for example, there is a, a meter in it and it takes far the pressure of the speed. And it has to be on two, position two, and it was on eight. So that's why he raised the speed. But very technical, but the problem is solved. The electric paver can carry on with the job, but can it work for the whole paving process? So it's about 300 meters, so 120 to perhaps 200 tons of asphalt. The target is to finish the job in three hours at the most. That will depend. Uh, but since we have nice ambient temperature, since it's springtime, the battery can work properly in a better temperature. Uh, the temperature really helps with the battery. Uh, so we expect to finish off in around three to four hours, still with some battery left. Meanwhile, the battery charge is at 65%. The bicycle track is beginning to take shape. Yet, the battery status is already down to 42%. The paving is almost finished, and the initial problems with the hydraulic pressure have already been forgotten. The paving is done, and the battery of the electric paver is still not empty. Well, today was an excellent day, I would say. Uh, we, we managed 300 meters of a binder layer, as you can see, 8 to 10 centimeters. Uh, that equals around five trucks and a half, <laughs> five Netherlands trucks and a half, let's say. Uh, and the battery, the machine performed really well. The ambient temperature really worked in our favor today, springtime, that really helps with the operation of the, of the, of the machine. We finished with around 30% of battery, so good for, good for more, but today we are finished, so we had some battery left for the next one. A successful day for Joao and his team. For the first time, an electric city paver has touched asphalt. Without a second battery charge, 300 meters of cycle path have been paved.